Welcome everyone, this is DH for Game Edge, and yes, we are in Prison Architect. It's a game that I really have been enjoying. I've been playing this for quite a bit of time, and I think I just wanted to bring it to you guys. I wanted to show you guys what this game is about. It's a little bit, um, it's very different. It's, it's, it's building your own prison. I know it sounds odd, it's, but it's, it's an awesome game. Why not? Why not do this? And it's, these guys have done a great job, and they're about to hit a beta. They're about to come out of alpha, and I think they deserve all the props. And Anyways, let's just go through this very simply. You can actually choose here by creating a new prison here. You can create a small, medium, or large area. I like large. And fog of war here. This is lose visibility inside your prison buildings unless you have guards in the patrolling in the area or CCTV covering the area. So it's really cool. You'll see that too. Uh, generated forests. You need that uh, really lumberous kind of cool to have. Uh, it's a bit of pain in the ass to knock down, but it's handy to have for later on. And you can actually generate cash of that. Uh, generate lakes. You can actually have lakes around there. Right now, we're not going to generate any lakes. Uh, generate buildings uh, here. You can actually just put on the buildings itself and actually uh, randomly d puts buildings around them. Uh, I don't like that at all right now. <laughs> I, I prefer to start off fresh and have my own buildings and the way we we're building it. So it's okay. Failure conditions and extra challenges. You will be sacked and the game is over and things will get too bad. Riots, bankruptcy, too many deaths or escapes. So it's very important actually very cool to have because you want to have a end game if something goes wrong a gangs here now this is brand new gangs have now been affiliated into this gate into this game and what happens is the games uh, the gangs itself have relationships they actually take possession of areas inside your prison so this would be really cool once you start seeing that uh, evolve the gangs will start coming in they'll have more power and you have to watch out they'll fight each other and they'll try and take over courtyards and areas inside the, the actual thing. And that's how the guys make money. They'll make money off of, you wanna go in that prison, you wanna go in the courtyard, you have to pay us. So this is the way it works for them. Uh, events here now, these are really cool, this is brand new. Events are caused to occur during the game and kept uh, to keep you on your toes and extra challenges and elements. And you know what guys, it's pretty cool. Some things just blow up. Uh, some things just, uh, riots can break up, fires. So really cool, it actually makes sure you start building sprinkler systems a lot. I'm gonna add that on, why not? Let's just do this. Unlimited funds, no thank you. Uh, not to be mad, but I don't feel like a sandbox mode. I feel like playing this for real. So let's get into this game right now. We'll roll back with a mouse here. We'll bring ourselves down. Our workers are coming over here. There they are. So these are our workers coming. Oop, there they are. This is a really fun game. I swear you guys, this is a lot of fun. If you've not tried to try this out, uh, you're going to want to pick it up and actually pick it up before it goes up to beta. I'm not sure if the price will change or not, but why not pick it up <laughs> just in case. So these guys are gonna come out. These are deliveries and garbages. So once your prison gets big enough, these are delivery areas and the garbage areas. You can actually create those pretty darn easily here. Uh, and it's pretty simple to do. So you don't have to worry about it. You do it here, click on rooms. And if you want to do it here, if I'm not mistaken, exports is over here. And pretty much anything you can do right now is there. So you have your garbage over here and deliveries over here. So deliveries, I'll be honest with you, it gets pretty hectic, and I like to have them a little bigger. Garbage is not so bad. Uh, we can leave like that. Self delivery is just a little bigger because I don't want them stuck in a truck. There we go. And we'll put up garbages just a little bit bigger. Let's just match it out. It doesn't have to match out the other length. That's okay. We'll do exports on the other side afterwards. Uh, that's not the big worry right now. Right now, the big worry we have to do is build. Now, you can actually stop time. So if you want the, everything to stop going and time frame, because you actually have to do this, uh, your prison intake right here is in 23 hours and 17 minutes. So in 23 hours and 17 minutes, we're going to have eight prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. So we have to prepare ourselves pretty darn quick to get something going. Uh, so you don't want to get stuck. So the main thing you want to do is put down the foundation. And you can choose brick or that. There's no big difference it's really about your quality of your building you want to there's no stability issues uh, I kind of like the brick for the front office so let's just get let's try and get this as even as possible here one two three you can actually do this here with a planning I don't I'm not too keen on it but I'll show you it looks like here just in this here you go so you have walls here if you want to build a wall let's say like this you can actually build it here across like this so you can build your walls and prepare yourself for that and then take them down so by right clicking and then just re-highlight them so you can you can build yourself and replay plan your prison before putting on the cash because you only have a certain amount of cash to start with but you can get more so i'll show you all that right after this here let's just get something going 
Let's get the front office. Let's do this by 41 by 15. So 42 by 20. That looks pretty good. Is that too close though from the entrance? I think so. I feel that's just a little too close from the entrance. Forty two is where I like to start here. I don't always build them always the same, but I definitely like them even as possible. And that doesn't look even at all. Let's get this. I'm getting too close again. There we go. Let's just get this down here. This should be okay. Okay, we need a big entrance. We need to actually have an area for receiving prisoners, a front office. So you have to prepare yourself to have everything in order. And this is how you get grants. And how you get grants, I'll show you that in a second once you have some stuff going here. So we're gonna actually get these workers working. They're gonna start going at full throttle and building this part of it. So here it says requires an entrance. Yeah, I know, but right now you don't have to worry about it. They're gonna chop down the trees. They'll start going through the things you have to do. Let's fast forward time. And here they go. Here we go. The guys are gonna build over here. They're gonna go crazy. What we're gonna do is build another little building on the side of here. A little bigger than that. So what I'm thinking. Let's add rooms here. One second. Let's just drop one little thing. I find it's a little loud here. Options, audio. Let's put a drop it right up there. I don't want to lose all the quality of the sounds and stuff, but don't want to be too loud. Sorry about that. Let's just make sure we have it in there. There we go. Uh, you do need to have uh, rooms and doors, so pretty much probably a good idea. Put that big front door uh, right now. Large jail door. There it is. And R for rotation. This one I like to have a little more an even cuff. Right about there. Garbage we're gonna move a little bit further down, I think. We're gonna move that down further. Yeah, garbage we're gonna move that down a bit. That'll make it a lot easier. Again, that's right click to remove. I'll just add a couple more garbage here. There we go. This is actually going to be an electrical room, so this will be very, very important. Uh, we did put down uh, a door there. Maybe a staff door for this one, because we don't want the prisoners to go on that side. Put that in the front, too. Yeah, that's good there. Get going, guys. Let's get going. Got some leftover wood here. Here you see, sell object, boom. Garbage, well, they'll take that out themselves, but pick up the wood you can and sell it. You can make some more cash back. You see, we're making $50. If not, they'll just pile it up and put it outside for you. And there we go, that's what I want to see. Boom, 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 boom. Beautiful. Where's our door? All right, they're coming with a door that we actually told them to put together. Uh, we're going to be missing a wall right here. Material, material. Brick wall. Right here. Because this is going to be an electrical room. I don't want anybody to have any kind of ability to go in and out from this area. Maybe we could put a door afterwards, but first we have to find out the space we have. Everything counts in this room. Uh, so everything counts in our financial uh, purposes here. We're at minus 50. Ooh, ooh. So what do we do for that? Well, we got to open up our little book right here. Actually, you know what we should do? Just pause this baby for one second. Let's get a grant going. This is how you get your extra cash. So basic detention center here. This is the one we're going for. 
So to build this, you have to build a holding cell, build a shower, build a yard, a kitchen, a canteen, to hire at least two guards and to hire at least two cooks. So that's pretty cool. I'll grab that one. And you see, you can accept two grants at a time. So this is what they're saying here. You can accept two of them. So make sure you can do them. If you want to be able to uh, finish up the actual grant or else you will be in jeopardy and actually <laughs> may lose a game. So better off this way. So build two offices, hire a warden, unlock the finances through bureaucracy and hire an accountant. So very important things, health and well-being. So this we should be okay to do. Okay, we should be okay here. Hopefully these guys can finish up their work. I thought they were a little more advanced than that. And then objects here, we're gonna have to open up here. We're gonna have to put some type in there electrical there's all the stuff okay they just changed up the menu enemy I didn't realize they changed that part up so if you want to go through stuff like that materials utilities we have to go utilities here and you actually can pick up things like here the power station you have one in stock already going and then you have capacitors which you need so let's get the power station going I'd like to leave a loop build around it there you go power stations going in and then the water pump we're gonna need we're gonna need one capacitor Put that right next to it here and then the water pump we're going to put that over here now that doesn't be specific place this has to be here uh, i like to have a little space because we can build out other capacitors and stuff if we need it uh, i know some people complain that there's issues with that but i don't really worry about it large pipes easy to escape with small pipes not so you want to build these uh, as much as possible into the main frame in the middle or if not on the sides of it uh, into walls so I, I usually build them into walls the guys can dig out with them uh, but I'm going to be building things all over this place. We're going to put this over here. And we're going to have this. And this is the way we distribute our water throughout the actual prison. So this is going to be very, very important. And again, electrical is going to be very simplistic. You have to drag our electrical here. And you can actually do it any way you want to. You can actually build across, or you can build through the same way you're doing through here. So uh, the best way is just to put it down. And there we go. See, oops. Let's take that off. To follow that cable all the way through. And then you can bring it all the way here. And then what you do is you drag some of it all the way down to the bottom. You can drag halfway down if you want to. It should be good enough right about there. Uh, but you can drag it anywhere you want to. I usually like to do two light frames away. Costing you money, so prepare. Be very prepared what we're doing here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So that should be enough to light up this room. All these little light bulbs are actually floating right now, so that's what you're seeing. These things are not lit up, so as soon as this is actually running and all this electrical work is done, as you see, our workers are going to start putting it all together. Bam, boom, here we go. That is awesome job. There we go. I like that. As soon as these guys are finished, now we're going to build our prison side. Thinking we can build a, a lot of people build walls and stuff originally, but I kind of like to build out a prison cell area over here, like a big area, and hopefully we have enough cash for that. Hopefully, is this sixty dollars? No, it's still sixty. Okay, I thought maybe they changed that on us too. It's just going to cost us what pretty much all our friggin' money. So let's dumb it down a bit. Let's dumb it down a bit. We're going to get some cash once we get the prisoners in, so we should be okay. We could just build a holding cell in the front, make our money. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Every other ways of playing here. I just prefer to try and do it. We can even see perimeter walls here for the outside. We'll start worrying about that right afterwards. Let's start building some walls here. Um, I'm thinking we have to build the offices here. We can do perimeter wall here. Let's bring one down here. Okay. And then we're going to do here, we're going to actually add one more of those doors. Large cell doors. What was wrong with that? Minus 350, okay. So that's going to go right across here. They're going to put it right there. So when they build this wall, bam, boom. It's going to be right where it counts. All right, that's cool. 
And then we're going to do more material across here. I'm trying to think what would be the best route to take for offices. I think the offices itself, I want them locked up in our own hallway. But the offices itself, you see, if you look at the room size, an office itself is required to be 4 by 4 And they're really useless. They're like tits in a bowl, so it's a it's useless. So you just make a little 4 by 4s here. Go, 4 by 4 You're going to need quite a bit of these offices. You might as well build them all now. 4 by 4 And that's not going to work out there. That's okay. That's good to know. Make something else there. Okay, so we have three offices right there. We could do three more on the other side. And then have... Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, wait. Let's do another 4x4 four four here. You'll see what I'm doing here in a second. 4x4 eh? four four here. Another 4x4 four four over here. So we have three, six offices. That's perfect. That's more than enough. Alright. Let's get the materials here. Get a brick wall. Building okay? I was building okay. Two. Go across here. You can actually roll in a little closer. It'll be a lot easier to see. There we go. Don't make no mistakes. And then we can build down here. We're going to do two across here. There we go. Perfect. So this is what they're going to put in here. These are going to be staff doors that are going to be needed. So you got to get the staff doors. Again, once the prisoners start intaking, it's going to be a whole new ball game. And here we're going to do the same thing. Materials. Walls. We still have 23,000. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's get this. There we go. That's perfect. So let's get our doors in here. There you go. Staff door is this way. There, we can actually tell them that the, nobody else can go into this. So you can actually, once you have like planning and stuff, you can actually say no one else is allowed in there except for the the actual uh, guards themselves. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we actually just realized here. Just realized we need to power uh, this baby up here. Put this one here. Why are they putting this one here? Install the one that counts, guys. Come on. Okay. Okay, so all the workers are seem to be going here. Let's get how long before we receive anybody? 16 hours. 16 hours until D-Day. Start rushing this a little bit. Uh once we have that, at least if we get this. Can somebody build this please? Look at them go for the offices as if they're, it's the end of the world here, come on. We've got to build a holding cell. I think the holding cell, we can actually pretty much build it across here. We can do the warden here. I think we build a small holding cell right here. But we can also keep these for other things like psychologists and stuff. Do the front load different, build the holding cells right here. Yeah, I like that idea. Well, I thought it. All right. Uh, where is it? Rooms. So these showers and stuff, canteens. These are kind of things you're gonna have to build without a problem. So it's not a big issue. They'll be built right afterwards. Uh, where's the holding cell? Right here. What's the minimal for that one? Five by five. So you want a receiving? I think we're gonna do receiving over here. I mean, it was five by five. Like we can actually do a holding cell, right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's actually a really nice big size holding cell in case we overflow a bit. 
Uh, maybe leave a little leeway for the tables and stuff for the guys. Let's bring it down to 12 here. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let's get materials going. This actually can't do 5 by 5 can we? No, I screwed myself there. Yeah, I screwed myself. It's okay. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Okay, let's bring this back in here. Five by five. There we go. This will have a lot of room. Mammoth one? No, it's too big. How much room do we have across? We have to build a wall there. It says 12, so six by six. We could put six. And there we go. We've uh, two spacer here, and then two more for the actual tables for the receiving. That should be good. Okay, that's gonna work. Because we want we want to be able to actually build this thing. We want it also to make sure that we actually have a proper way of distributing. So the prisoners will come through here, and bam. Let's pause this for a second. Where is it? Objects. Uh, you know what? We'll do that right after. To get too many things at once, and I want to do a whole bunch of things at once. So sorry, guys, but I'm just my head's like floor right now. With tons of ideas to do. Well, from what I know, it does make a difference. So what's what you're going to use for it? So it's okay. The material-wise, if you like brick, you can use brick. They don't seem to have any kind of uh, dumbed-down effect to it. So. At least we'll be able to receive prisoners if that comes in. And we are not far away. Let's hire up some guards. Maybe they can help out a little bit. Let's get at least one guard going. See, right here, two guards, and we got, bam, we, we finished that one. We need to build a kitchen, shower, holding sale. Got a lot of things to build here. On a very low budget, we receive those guys. Hopefully they'll give us some good cash. Build two offices, hire a warden. So. Let's get a warden on staff. And what we're gonna do is we'll put his tables and chairs in place. He should be in the front, so let's make sure. He needs one table. Sorry, one chair, one desk. So you got to make it all perfect. It really doesn't align perfectly anyways. And where's the other one's office desk? Let's rotate this baby. There we go. Kind of irritating me. Chair is never gonna align. I've tried to align this chair before. It goes up or down. No, it's fine. All right, build another one here. Another one here. See the tables are coming in. <laughs> this is pretty freaking cool. I love this game. Once you get used to it, you see a couple of them, guys. You'll see what I mean. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so this is cool. So we got all those things in here, and what else we needed for this office to make this good? You just have to hover over and it says, now great, we have office desk and filing cabinet is next. So we need to get filing cabinets, get each filing cabinet. This way we're ready for these ones. It's not a very expensive maneuver. Uh, it's not the most expensive buying thing. So at least all that stuff comes in, it's extra, extra good. So this holding cell now, we're, we're missing a toilet and a bench. So let's get a toilet going over here. Let's put a second one near there and a bench which is right here. Let's put a couple of benches in here. Maybe leave some space in between. In case we need to add some beds, we'll just put one each side. This is temporary, guys, right? This whole... But you do need somewhere to put them. So this works really well. Why is this one light not working? Really? Look at this. See? Power didn't go far enough down here. It's good to know. Let's bring it down a bit further. Okay, and that's all you have to do is hit this utilities here so you know about the water and stuff. And there's no water, so now we have to build our water pipes. So from big to small. Right there. Point down. And then we can do from here to there. That's perfect. So the guys will go and do a little work. They'll start bringing all that stuff in. 
And again, this is the power usage here, and already it's pretty high, so we're gonna have to start looking at building some more capacitors. That's a thousand freaking dollars, man. It's gonna be two thousand dollars at the best one, that for sure. I know it. Okay, we'll put two more capacitors. That should lower the amount of power on the power station and the amount of power that's you know, with the herd on it. Right now, this is soaking up a lot of the power. That's okay. So the, the guys are gonna start going here. You can actually, let's say if this is not going well, you find it's you know, too slow, not enough workers. Some of these guys are actually doing nothing. Uh, but if you want to, if you want to increase the speed of them, you can actually hire them, get the one down, or you can actually just fire them as you go. So if you want to, you can actually fire uh, anybody you want to. If they find this guy's not working, sack his ass. Uh, and once the prisoners start coming into the bus here, it should be a lot of fun to see these guys roll in and get going and actually building this prison. So the main now, the main settle is that you actually want to build the offices, which is really cool. Uh, a holding cell and a reception area, which we're going to put over around here, I think. And here we can actually start building, uh, we'll keep this open for other things like the church and uh, reception center, maybe a staff center, a couple other things. And hopefully we can actually start building maybe something else uh, once the prisoners come in to come around here. But we gotta try and finish at least this, unlock finance through bureaucracy. Let's do that while we're waiting. Let's get finances. So this is six, that's it, five hours and six minutes. So it's gonna take some time. See, the minutes are going down pretty fast, though, but it's going to take some time before we get that. And if you unlock that, then we have this and hire an accountant right afterwards. And bam, we get an extra $5,000 and we get rolling. We get rolling. Now, there's nobody doing anything, so you want to pause this up and figure out what you're doing. That's the main key. Uh, right now, we have a problem with the toilet. Why is that? Still, we're having a problem with the power here. What the hell is going on? Power here and the water is connected to it. Why is the pipe? Okay, it looks like it can't go any further. This is not big enough of a pipe. Okay, so they actually, yeah, that's fine. I'm not sure if they put that as an update or not. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I think that's that worked last time. So maybe the pipe now is actually the density of pipe is only much, which is logical, right? You do have a big pipe and bring a small pipe. The amount of wire actually can go through and this is a pretty long length i actually never did that before we had a problem okay so maybe we can just do a large pipe i don't want to waste all that how much are large pipes here 15 dollars these are two dollars all right let's get some expense here and just bring this one down a lot less expensive than bring that big pipe all the way through when you start looking at it you know 15 bucks a pop two dollars a pop I'll take that any day, try and cut costs. Again, it's harder for the guys to escape and you don't want them to escape. So as much as possible, once the prisoners come in, you do not want to let the little bastards get out of there. So that's the most important thing we have to worry about. We have 12 hours to go. Let's see if these construction workers can move their asses and start working here and doing what was told. Or maybe they're waiting for deliveries. It's very possible. We have, no, we have the stuff. We have the cables. No, we have the right stuff here. It's really cool. All right, guys, we're going to leave it off here. Uh, hit a like, subscribe uh, if you haven't done it already. If you guys have any uh, questions, tips, or tricks about this game, I really am knowledgeable about this game. I've actually played quite a bit. The only thing I have not done is events so far. Uh, I can't wait to bring in the gangs a little bit. I've not I played with it. I've never got to see a long length of it. My other game I had before was a little bit less built. Uh, a little built down with the gangs. It wasn't starting to, it was just starting to rumble. So I can't wait to see what's going to go on here. Again, this is very minute. Uh, start it takes a little while to start once you start going you start realizing how easy it is so this is going to flow to left and right we're going to build a courtyard we'll get things going and see if we can control this jail there'll be riots there'll be issues there'll be a lot of fun so thank you very much again please leave a like comment anything, anything again guys i really appreciate it. this is the edge for game edge and i'll catch you guys on the flip side